Today, rallies were held in Glastonbury and Wallingford speaking out against hate and discrimination. Fox 61's Gabby Molina has more on the messages. The rally held here in Wallingford, as well as the one in Glastonbury, were organized and led by high schoolers, young people who say that they want to be the change they want to see. Civic engagement in youth is the most vital and essential power that we have. As a youth of the future, we will be leading this world one day. Using their voices, teens in Wallingford called for an end to hate and discrimination. Organized by Sheehan High School senior Amy Bowie, a rally was held in the wake of deadly shootings in Atlanta, Georgia, that killed eight people, six of whom were Asian women. For Bowie, it was personal. My parents, you know, are um, they own their own small business, and it was just kind of heartbreaking to see how the shootings there happened, and it could happen anywhere. You know, it's not impossible. She, along with her peers, shared their own stories of the discrimination they've faced right in their own communities. People would ask me if I could see through my eyes. People would ask me if I had their dog for dinner, all that stuff. You never knew if it was a joke or racism, you know, so I think it's just important to for other people to realize that it is racism and not just a joke. My dad owned a little business here and I was always scared that someone would come by and say something and he always taught me to be really strong and no matter what, hold my ground as a South Asian woman especially. In Glastonbury, a rally against racism was also led by young people. Stop discrimination. They also spoke on the importance of bringing their own experiences to light as a first step towards change. I think it's important to uh, highlight that it's, this happens everywhere, but um, especially in suburban towns, because a lot of these people are, you know, coming out of here, they grow up, they go out into a bigger, broader world, and, you know, they're perpetuating the same uh, negative racist stereotypes. The students in Wallingford also got some support from local leaders. The Attorney General, Senator Blumenthal, and Wallingford's mayor also spoke at the event. In Wallingford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.